He captured Canadian hearts in 1980, Terry Fox's Marathon of Hope, running across the country to raise money to fight cancer. And you can't tell me when each one of us can, get, can die of cancer that there's not one dollar that each of us can give. After 143 days, his bold endeavor cut short. The cancer that claimed his leg spread to his lungs. This new Heritage Minute marks the 35th anniversary of Terry's run. I got chills, I'll say that. I was in, of course, on the process from start to finish, but to see it up there and to remember as I do, Terry is really something. Producers pushed for the authentic. On eBay, they bought a van of the same vintage and painted it like the original. They also matched locations with the help of Fox's foundation, which reaches out to almost 10,000 schools. We just love the way they did it. We actually watched it three or four times because uh, we couldn't get enough of it. Actor Jay Humanem, fitted with a similar prosthetic leg for filming, had the same cancer as Terry. He's alive because of research Fox made possible. I wouldn't be here um, without him. You know, and what he did for everybody. We were really looking more with our minute to just sort of celebrate him and also just sort of suggest that, yeah, he was a kid that was all alone running across the country. That solitary figure through his foundation has raised some $700 million in 50 countries. Millions of people around the world. The minute was voiced by CTV's Lloyd Robertson. I was honored and delighted to be a part of it because he is now such a a national and international hero. Mm -hmm. Countries all over the world annually doing the Terry Fox run. The original run lasted for about 206,000 minutes. Now, another minute is pushing his legacy forward. Scott Lurie, CTV News, Toronto.